There was once a man named Walder, who was upon a boat. When it was struck down by a torpedo, yet determined, he stayed afloat. Following his ordeal, he decided that he wanted to make the world a better place to be. And the best way he could do this was by helping people with a disorder of the brain called epilepsy. Dr. Penfield, young Walder later became. And so begins our story, there is none quite the same, of Penfield, epilepsy, and the functional brain. Epilepsy causes seizures, which are spontaneous electrical discharges, which disrupt the brain in its normal processes. Some seizures disrupt the whole brain, and these are called generalised, which may result in the person falling to the ground with body shaking, stiffening, and closing of the eyes. A different seizure starts in a certain part of the brain. They can then spread or stay local. That is why these seizures are called focal. There might be a warning before the seizure takes hold, such as a strange smell, taste, or deja vu, so I am told. These focal seizures might also be the cause of hand movements, lip smacking, and in speech there might be a pause. Because the nature of the focal seizure depends, on where in the brain it starts and ends, Dr. Penfield came to see that focal seizures could be treated with a little bit of surgery. With his patients wide awake, he would open their heads and peer right in, and with an electrical current, stimulate certain brain regions. Now, the whole goal of this endeavour was to find and remove the part of the brain that was starting the seizure. However, before removal could lead to cure, the surrounding brain regions needed to be mapped so that disability would not endure. From these brave patients, so much was to be learnt, because as Dr. Penfield stimulated certain brain regions, patterns began to emerge. A stream of past memories were brought about with a probe to certain regions of the temporal lobes. When the occipital lobes were given a buzz, colours and shapes were to be seen, as one usually does. When he probed the motor and sensory parts of the brain, he could see what movements and feelings were to be gained. And so Dr. Penfield, by attempting to cure epilepsy, a feat that is by no means simple, was amongst the first to map the brain and its functional organisation in living people. However, this is not the story of Dr. Penfield and its absolute. He did many more things, such as finding the Montreal Neurological Institute. But from here, the story of functional brain mapping did begin, and now we have the technology to peer within, without having to open the head and stimulate the electrodes. Rather, we can take pictures of the blood as it flows. However, do not think that we know all that there is to know about the brain. In fact, there are many more questions that remain. But with gratitude, we must say thanks to the patients for all that we have learnt, and look forward to the new findings that from neuroscience will emerge. <laughs>